So I'm going to show you guys how to port forward uh, stuff. So if you're on your modem and your router, awesome. So we're going to be doing with Xfinity, the DDWRT, Netgear, uh, let's close out of that, and Linksys. So it's fairly easy. Um, it's not too much work. All you got to do is uh, on your Comcast or Xfinity, whatever you want to call it, uh, port forwarding is enabled. You're going to add service. Then the name of the service, uh, for example, Apache or HTTP, that is a um, the server, the web server. If you were to go to, go to Yahoo, Amazon, it's the whole website that's being displayed. And it'll be your IP address. To find out what your IP address is, you're going to open up command prompt, IP config, oop, IP config. And if you're on a um, LAN or a cable adapter, it's going to be the uh, 192.168.1.49. It'll be the IPv4. If you're on the uh, wireless LAN network adapter, it'll say uh, the same thing, but with the IPv4. So um, my IP is going to be 192.168.1.49. And whatever port I want to port forward, port 80, just to um, have my web server up. You click save. That's it. Done. It's that simple. Um, for the DDWRT, uh, let's change that. Where would it be? Access and restrictions. Nope. Okay, so it's going to be under the NAT, QoS, then the first tab, port forwarding. So I already have it port forwarded. Now one and two, one six eight. Uh, one dot four nine. Excuse me, four nine. <laughs> excuse me, sneezed. I had to mute myself really quick. But um, enable, save. That's it. That's port forward. As for the Netgear, uh, you'll see the port forwarding right there, and it'll say the services uh, port forwarding. Then you can add custom and whatever the service is, HTTP. Then you want the TCP and UDP. Um, if it specifies on TCP only, then uh, have TCP only. If it specifies on UDP, uh, then just have it on UDP. But if you don't know, then leave it as TCP and UDP. Then put in the ports. The IP address, apply. That is it. Your port forwarded. So to make sure to check up on a connection, since I'm doing port 80 and already have services up and running, um, the thing I want to do is can you see me org. So my IP is already there. I'm running on port 80. So as you can see, it was the 192.168.1.1 on the NAT QoS. And right now I have another server that's up and running and it's running on port 80. So how you can tell, you say, click check port, it'll say success. Awesome. Um, let's just change that to port 81. Let's just do that really quick. So we're going to check the port again. Guess what? It's not working because the port is not forwarding so port 80 that's it if you guys have any questions comments uh drop it down below if you guys like my video rate subscribe